Hey everyone, welcome to TechLamp TV. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about Cisco Intersight. And this video is the first video in a series of videos that will take you through a journey of understanding Cisco Intersight infrastructure service at a deeper level. The series will be broken down into what I like to think of as mini courses. In this video, I'll be teaching you the basics of Cisco Intersight. Consider this video your foundational video, right? I'm gonna be talking about what Cisco Intersight is, how it works, terminology. Basically, it's gonna be your 101 course. After watching this series, you'll have a solid understanding of how to navigate through Cisco Intersight infrastructure service and start using it in your organization. At the end of this foundational series, I'm gonna release a new set of videos that are focused on more advanced topics around Intersight. And if you haven't subscribed to TechLamb TV, now is the perfect time to go ahead and do that because that's the only way you're gonna find out when that new set of videos are released. All right, so let's get this party started. Cisco Intersight provides deep visibility and gives you a comprehensive view of your UCS environment along with your Cisco Hyperflex environment. And it also has support for certain third-party infrastructure. And Cisco is a SaaS-based solution, which means you no longer need to be at the data center to manage your infrastructure. With Intersight, you can manage your network from anywhere using any device. And since Intersight is cloud-based, you no longer have to maintain your network. Cisco updates Intersight weekly with new features. So all you need to do is just log in and start using it. All right, let's start talking about some of the cool features of Cisco Intersight. You don't have to log into multiple tools or dashboards to get analytics on your systems anymore. Intersight quickly displays the health of your servers, Hyperflex clusters, and FIs from one dashboard. Intersight keeps track of your licenses and contracts and alerts you when it's time to renew. And thanks to Intersight's cloud-native design and API-first model, it has the intelligence to alert you on security advisories and anomalies along with event correlation. Intersight has another superpower that I like to describe as predictive and proactive. So what do I mean by that? All of us have experienced DIM failures at some point in our careers, where the server is hosting multiple VMs, applications, and it is absolutely critical that these servers stay up and running, right? Because it's catastrophic if we have a DIM memory failure. So one of the superpowers, as I said a moment ago, is the fact that Intersight is predictive and proactive. It has the intelligence to identify a DIM failure before it even happens. That's the predictive part. And it understands that there's a DIM failure on the horizon by analyzing the thresholds and looking at the telemetry data that is coming from the server. It then proactively opens up a TAC case starts the RMA process and sends that memory dim over to you before you even realize that there's a problem. And at the same time, it captures the logs and it uploads it to TAC so they can start analyzing it. That is the predictive and proactive intelligence that Intersight has. And it's just one of its awesome superpowers. All right, so I gave you a lot of information about what Intersight is, and what it does at a really high level. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about is how you actually access Intersight so you can start managing your UCS and Hyperflex infrastructures, right? Or there are two different ways that you can access Intersight. One of them is actually going to intersight.com and logging in with your CCO ID. And then the second way is actually using the Intersight mobile app, which I'm gonna showcase here in the next minute. And after I'm done talking about the mobile app at intersight.com, I'm gonna show you how you can determine connectivity issues between your organization and intersight.com if there are any, right? So you need to identify quickly, is it something on-prem that's causing the disconnect or is it something within the SaaS platform? By going to what's called status.intersight.com, you'll be able to quickly identify any type of operational issues if there are any with the SaaS platform 
And you can also identify any maintenance plans that are coming along in the future because Cisco is constantly updating Intersight every week with new features. So there might be something going on and you want to know about it, right? So I'm going to talk about status.intersight.com as well. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the Intersight.com welcome page. You log into Intersight by using your CCO ID. And if you don't have a CCO ID, you can click here to get one. I will also show you a demo of the Intersight platform and begin teaching you how to use it in a separate video. This is the Intersight mobile app. With this mobile app, you'll be able to manage your infrastructure from anywhere. And it's available for both Android and iOS. With the Intersight dashboard, you'll have full visibility of your servers, FIs, and Hyperflex clusters, and can quickly determine what's healthy and what's not. You can identify problems quickly with alarms and drill down into the device to learn more. You'll also know which component is affected and what's wrong with it, along with where it's located. Go ahead and download the app and give it a try. All right, so let's take a look at status.intersight.com. Now, when we go to this site, we're basically looking to find out if our SaaS platform is actually operational. There might be some type of problem happening in your organization where you can't reach intersight.com. This would be the first place that I would go to troubleshoot and see, is it intersight or is it something in your environment? So once you get to status.intersight.com, you can subscribe to updates, which is something I highly recommend you do because that way you'll be notified in the event there's actually something going on. And right off the bat, you're going to notice that all systems are operational. Everything's up in green. If it was not operational, it'd be in red. And we can see here graphically the different Intersight infrastructure services and their operational states. We can also visually see Workload Optimizer, Nexus Cloud, and the API services along with the Intersight portal. Everything's up, up. And if you want to take a look back in time, you can also do that with past incidents. At this time, we don't have any past incidents to report, but if we did, they'd be listed here. So again, status.intersight.com is your best friend in order to find out if there's any type of operational issues happening with the SaaS platform. I hope you found this video helpful and learned something new about Intersight. In my next video, I'm going to talk to you about the three different deployment options available and the use cases for each one. And then I'm going to jump right into the Intersight platform and show you how to use it. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time.